everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and it's great to see you all watching today, as Reality Based presents Lawrence Fox, cancelled by GB News, because he would not shag a wretched misandrist woman, who happens to be a progressive bitch. So I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative, because it is going to be a long one, folks, so check out those timestamps in the description. Now for those who are unaware, over the past few days, as of the making of this video in late September of 2023, Lawrence Fox, head of the Reclaim Party in the United Kingdom, has been subjected to a cancel culture campaign by the British mainstream media, which is full of progressive ponsery, after making comments criticizing Ava Satina, a political correspondent for Joe, which is a British left-wing news and entertainment site, a very British-sounding name, who has previously belittled male depression and suicide on an episode of Politics Live on the BBC, as well as on Talk TV, like most left-wing activists do, no matter if they call themselves Labour or Conservative, left-wing or right-wing, no matter what news site they're on, folks, these activists always try to twist narratives, to suit alleged minority or so-called discriminated groups, in this case, women. Anyway, Ava has stated so many nasty things in recent talks on UK news media, whether it's on the BBC or Talk TV, to name but a few, so Lawrence responded in kind on GB News, stating that he would not shag that woman, or as I would call her, that progressive bitch, as Lawrence faces his second cancellation attempt since he was cancelled by the British entertainment establishment the first time round, now Lawrence faces cancellation by the British mainstream media. Though GB News have really shown their colours as a result of this controversy, as being the controlled opposition that they are, as they purge contributors like Fox, as well as Dan Wooten, though he has quite the history, and Reverend Calvin Robertson, a close friend of Fox, who is standing by his good friend during this controversy. Essentially, folks, we are seeing a case of cancel culture within the wider culture war in the United Kingdom, both of which are claimed not to exist in the UK, which is clear gaslighting by the British establishment and their mainstream media allies. So now on to my personal views regarding this situation. And if you think this section was a long one, oh boy, my personal views will be even longer. Now personally, ladies and gentlemen, I am of the view that Lawrence Fox is being targeted, since this is the second time that the British establishment have tried to ruin this man's reputation, and since far fewer folks are aware of the egregiousness of the establishment here in the United Kingdom, such attempts are usually far more effective here though less so in this instance, as the double standards and the hypocrisy is clearly shown, when folks like Ava can be critical and demeaning of men and face no punishment, while folks like Lawrence can be critical and demeaning of women and face a lot of punishment. It's clear to see, ladies and gentlemen, that there's one rule for the establishment and another rule for those outside of the establishment. It's a big club, and we ain't in it, folks on both sides of the pond, whether you are a man on the street like you or me, a political party leader like Lawrence Fox or Nigel Farage, or one of the richest men in the world like Elon Musk. There is clearly a political bias, there is clearly a media bias, and more and more people can see it, recognize it, and oppose it by rejecting it and those who support it. And we will see this with GB News as it ceases to be Britain's news channel, as it has thrown its contributors under the bus, abandoning its core, and so the core shall abandon it. Now folks, this situation tells me that the mainstream media is the past. Engaging with it is like engaging with a cult mixed with a cancer. It has one mindset that despises all alternatives and seeks to destroy them, that kind of media is not the future. The future, in my view, is the age of the creator, be it in media, entertainment, or even politics, from the local level 
to the national level, and even to the international level, either on mainstream social media sites like YouTube or X, or even on alternative sites like Rumble or Kick, to name but a few. What has happened to Lawrence Fox, likewise with what's happened to Russell Brand, different situations with the same tactics and overall strategy to remove a dissenting voice which will happen to all dissenting voices against the establishment, no matter their prominence or origins. This is because there are too many people realizing that there is something terribly wrong with the Western world. Like with Russell Brand, Lawrence Fox is yet another test case of cutting off the head and the body will die. That's what the establishment thinks of in regards to the organizational structure of their adversaries in alternative media, entertainment, and politics. Though it is simply not so, as such movements are bottom-up, not top-down in nature, utilizing the power of inspiration, though such organizations are all far from perfect, they all survive and endure despite everything that is thrown against them by the powers that be, and it's a testament to the strength, intelligence, and courage of said members of said organizations that is the reason for said endurance. Though such a way of thinking for the establishment is one of many reasons why it is way overdue for reform, as we, the people, reclaim our countries, our unions, our kingdoms, to make them great again, and to move towards the future all the while preserving our heritage in the process. For America, for Britain, for Canada, for Australia, for New Zealand, for the entire Western English-speaking world, time is running out. Yet there is still hope in the people to drive back the invasions and to uproot the occupations of our nations. Ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we, the people, can salvage the best of what we still have to dominate the world in the 21st century and beyond. Yet that cannot happen unless fine folks like me and you endure the storm like Lawrence Fox has and talk to the people to convince them to awaken. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes Reality Based Presents Lawrence Fox Cancelled by GB News and Wretched Woman. I hope you all enjoyed this video, even though it was a long one, at least by my standards anyway. Thank you all very much for watching. For more videos like these, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel that bears my name. Because the truth is reality based. Suggestions for videos are always welcome in the comments section down below. And so I shall end this video by wishing you all a great day. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and no other genders, binaries, tranny demons, full-blown AIDS demons, they them pronoun demons, and misandrous slags, bye for now, folks.